Hello guys, today I will be showing you how to style a file input button. Um, what we will use is only CSS and HTML. And uh, as you probably already knew, the file button is very very ugly by default and it's very hard to style it the way you like it. So this is a very quick um, but good tips or trick that uh, I want to share with you guys. So. What you can start with is writing the file input. So input type um, file and then an ID of file. This is a, a very important step, so don't forget the ID. Um, then you want to write and add a label. The label uh, will work as the button in this cage, case. Uh, so. Uh, uh, write the button text here, so I will call it just button. And in the, the in the uh, first uh, tag, you wanna add the attribute for. The for attribute um, is pointing to the ID that is uh, uh, given to this parameter. Um, so. For example, you can have radio buttons and then you have a label. So then uh, you know the sites where you can click on the text instead of the, just um, clicking on the little round circle uh, on in the ra uh, radio button. So the label is used for pointing to something. So in this case, um, in case I'm using the four attribute to point to the file, input file. Um, so if we look how this looks in the web browser, it looks like this. Um, you can see that you can just click there, there, or you can click here. Uh, the, they both um, work as a button. So now what you want to do is to go into your CSS and then write like pointing to the file input. So fi uh, type and then file. So now every input with the type of file um, will be styled by this rule. So now what we want to do is to set the width to 0 and then the height to 0. We want to give this a position of absolute this is just to make sure that it doesn't interfere with any other HTML tags or any other code of some type. Um, we also want to give it a C index. The C index it will um, move it back back in the like if you think it has layers, um, the C index will make it behind the scene if you. If you know what I mean, you'll see. You'll still see it, but um, it will move it backwards, uh, and we will set this to minus one. Uh, we will also put the overflow to hidden to make sure that no scroll bars or anything uh, will pop up uh, if it if it needs to if it's overflowed. Um, and then what we want to do is to set the opacity. To zero, uh, just to hide it more. Uh, it will get high hidden by just this code, or just by um, yeah, by this code. But to make sure um, it works every every time, you can just put the rule opacity there and set it to zero. Um, so now, if we look in a web browser, it's just the button that. Uh, will appear. So now this works as the file input button. Um, and now you can actually style this button however you want. So um, you can you can point to this and then you can also point to the label where 4 is equal to um, file. So now we can just set a width of 150 200 pixels, a height of 45 pixels, uh, background set to maybe uh, a 
a dark a darker gray the color to white fun family in my case case is Helvetica no Navy I don't know how to pronounce that um, and um, now if we look it will look much better uh, we haven't we need to set the label to display block just to make sure that every width and such uh, is included so now it looks like this um, we can set the text align to center the line height to 45 pixels since the height is 45 pixels to so that then uh, the text will be centered to the middle like this now um, to make it more like a button you can set the cursor to pointer so whenever you hover over it um, it will turn to the mouse will be turned to a pointer the cursor will be turn to a pointer um, and then we can just add some other styling like hover mm, like much lighter so now it actually looks like a pretty good button very simple button but very nice looking so uh, the back side of this is that when you choose a file um, the text isn't displayed but some of you maybe think that is very good because uh, personally I think the text just destroys the design of the uh, of the style so uh, this was everything for for me so thank you guys for watching it and I hope that you found this helpful and I will see you in the next video.